Oh my god, look at that, it's snowing everywhere. It's so fantastic and so white. Look at that, it has never happened before like this here. What are you doing? Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? I hope you had a fantastic Christmas Eve. No! Sorry for that. I, I know I did, so I hope you spend it with friends and family at least. But, no, <laughs> no more interaction. <laughs> so we didn't have a white Christmas and I said like, that's, that's not possible. We, we can't allow this. We have to do something. As a VFX artist unite, we have to make a white Christmas. Yeah, we're not allowed to do that in Belgium actually. Fun fact, in Belgium, we can't say Christmas markets anymore. We have to rename it to winter market. That's much better. Insert bruh sound effect. So, we needed a white Christmas. Unfortunately, it's too late. Christmas has already passed, but maybe we can make it happen until the new year. So, I turned this scene into this scene. And I'm, I'm so excited about this because it actually looks really, really good. It's, I'm so proud of myself right now. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do it as well. It's totally easy. And if you want, you can also download our free preset on our website, which will allow you to give the basic tools to already get started and you can just configure it with your scene. Um, and also, if you want to follow along with the same footage as me, I will put a link in the description below where you can download my video file, which is called Not So Snowy Snow Scene. All right. So here we are in After Effects. I do have another asset, uh, which we'll be using later, which is not included in the tutorial finals because it's not my asset, it's a premium asset, but you don't really need it in order to get the final result. It's just a little bit to add a little bit of extra sparkle uh, to your scene, but it's not really necessary. You'll see, you'll, you'll get me later. All right, so the first thing that I've done is I recorded this here in our forest, which is actually one, one minute walking from, from where we are, so that's really cool. We are like in the green and nature vibe, so yeah, fresh air and stuff. Do you see this footage? This is recorded on Christmas, can you f And we're gonna drag that into a new composition. And the first thing that you need to do is actually just duplicate your scene. We're gonna click on our duplicated footage and we go to edit, or no, we go to effects. And we go to color correction so many effects in here it's too much tint effect there we go doesn't that already look better no we're not there yet um so we start off with a tint effect just to get those white colors from the snow and actually in some cases you're gonna have to apply different effects different values for your scene in order to make it work so every scene is different um but i'm just going to get you through all my settings for for this particular scene so I will also go into the white because it's currently set to perfectly white and we don't want to use perfectly white because in real life it actually never is white. You don't have real whites, you don't have real blacks, it always varies a little bit. So I will go into the blue channel because like if you see a blue sky or the reflections in the snow it always turns out a little bit like bluish on a photo. So I'm going to go for a blue kind of vibe and I'm just gonna pick like really very close to the white, a little bit of blue, and, and you barely see any difference, but it actually does a lot to your scene. You can see it right here, a little bit of blue in there. Okay. Next, I'm going to add an effect color correction, and I'm going to add a levels, and then we can start bringing this in and bringing this in here to add some contrast in there. And basically, this is gonna be your snow. Of course, uh, sometimes, in some cases, you might want to go to effects, channel and invert the scene so you have different places of snow um, or you might duplicate it and kind of combine it all together. Uh, that's completely up to you. But in this case, without invert, it worked out perfectly and so we're going to use this one here. So I'm going to shift it a little bit more to the left and bring this over a little bit like so. There we go. And then I'm also going to apply a blur. So we're going to blur, blur, where is it? Blur and sharpen, fast blur. And we're just gonna set it to like 0.5 really, or even 0.2, it's a little bit too much even. So a little bit of blur in there. Uh, iterations, we can set that to one and there we go. So that already looks pretty 
no, it, it looks terrible, but we're gonna continue right after we talked about today's video sponsor. So today's video sponsor is me. So today's video sponsor is us. We actually run CreatorGalaxy.com, but CreatorGalaxy.com is the go-to website when it comes to any digital creator that wants to improve its work or wants to create epic videos. And we're all about like giving value and taking as less as possible. So we optimize our prices to get best bang for buck. So definitely check out our website. We have templates, presets, pre-made packs. We're gonna upload courses in the coming year. Uh, we're gonna add a ton of awesome music. And if you have your subscription now, everything that's gonna be added on a website is also going to be included in your subscription or you can just buy everything separately if subscription is not what you're looking for so definitely check out our website with the link in the description below if you want to create epic videos you have to become a part of creatorgalaxy.com it's really worth it and now let's continue with the tutorial okay so we're back here and actually it's really simple from here we only have to do one big change to to make it look kind of okay and let's just go over here and choose the blending mode lighten and if you don't see the blending mode you can just toggle the switches right over here and now you get something like that it's kind of messy um, also kind of the colors in the trees are a little bit too much so what I'll be doing is clicking on my original footage I will go to effects color correction and I will also add a tint effect in here I'm gonna set this to like 35 to have like a little bit of desaturation going on and then we can play around a little bit more with the contrast over here so if you want to have less or more snow this is how you're going to start controlling it so I kind of like it how it looks right over here um, but when you look at snow it also looks kind of bloomy it looks like it's kind of illuminating some kind of glow and if we're going to add that on top of this it's going to look a lot more realistic so we're going for effect stylized and we're going to add a glow effect to our scene and of course this is way too much but you can already understand the idea that i'm trying to achieve here first i'm going to select my rectangle tool and i'm just going to select the top part of it i'm going to press f on the keyboard i'm just going to feather it a little bit like so and set it to subtract i'm also going to expand it a little bit and there we go so now we have only kind of the snow on the floor and we can also duplicate the scene once more, press M on the keyboard and delete this mask for now. And then we're going to check on, um, we're going to select our original footage and duplicate that. And bring this on top and here we're going to set it to 100% in the tint effect. And then go to effect, color correction, levels. And here we really want to kind of isolate the sky and the trees. So we want to make the trees as black as possible. And then we're going to set this scene to Luma inverted matte. And that way we're gonna get the snow on top of these trees again, but we're going to delete the glow because we don't want glow on these trees. And of course, again, play around with the snow here. Maybe we want a little bit less snow, but that way it's going to continue up until uh, the top here. So um, without this layer and with this layer, it's kind of seamless over here. Okay, cool. Next, we want to kind of, yeah, perfectionize our glow here. So we're definitely gonna lower our settings. I'm going to lower the intensity to something like 0.3 and we can increase the radius a little bit and maybe play also with the threshold here so that's looking pretty cool let's see if we want to add more snow or a little bit less maybe a little bit more and like 30 radius something like this is starting to look pretty cool Maybe a little bit less because it's, yeah, it's kind of strong. Okay, now it's kind of a, a little bit less contrast. That was what we're looking for. Okay, cool. So now comes an interesting part where you really want to create like the depth of the scene. When you look at a snowy scene, usually you will see some kind of mist. It's going to get like a atmosphere because of the temperature and the climate. It's looking a little bit like, uh, like you can't really see the end of, uh, of the horizon. So we're going to create a new solid layer and we're going to just pick with uh, the color of the white here. So this kind of bluish color, click OK. And then we're going to kind of mask out like the top here and bring it like over here. Press F on the keyboard and kind of feather it quite a bit like this. And then of course we want to duplicate this scene here. So I'm just going to solo it so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, where we have the, the black and the white in the sky. So we're going to duplicate this or first rename this to Luma Matte and then duplicate it. I'm going to uncheck this and unsolo this. Bring this on top. And basically we're going to do the same thing. So Luma Inverted Matte 
And that way, or actually this time, we wanna do a Luma Matte. So you can see what it's doing. It's kind of deleting uh, the back part here. And we wanna lower the opacity, of course, to something like 15. And then we wanna duplicate it once more on top, but without the Luma Matte and also set it to something like 15. So we create some depth right here. It's gonna give a little bit of a fade and then in the back, it's going to have a bigger fade. And that way you're kind of um, yeah, losing detail in the background. So before and after. So a very small change that actually does a lot. Next, what I'm gonna be doing is select my original footage and I will track my shot in 3D because we wanna add snow particles to this scene. I actually have another tutorial that goes really in detail of snow, so I will uh, put a card on this video and yeah, we're just going to get through this pretty quickly. Uh, we're gonna set this up and I'm also going to add a little bit of fog that is going to give a little bit more um, detail to the atmosphere. So we're going to select our layer and just click on track camera. We can go in the advanced tab and just check detailed analysis. This is something I always do just to be sure. And boom, our camera is solved. And maybe I should save because I'm always scared something is gonna crash here. So it's 3D tracked. If we select our 3D camera tracker, we will see all these points here. So I'm going to select a few of these points like that and just right click create null and camera. There we go. So I'm going to unsolo everything so we can see our entire scene. And then I'm going to bring in one of my assets, which you can find at actionvfx.com. Actionvfx.com is a library where you can find real made stock assets for visual effects like explosions, dust, and in this case, uh, lingering fog. I will put a link in the description below if you're interested. But yeah, this, um, this looks kind of really cool and it's very hard to recreate and just having real elements to work with uh, makes your scene uh, much more realistic so that's why i tend to go for this you don't have to follow this step you can totally skip it it's not going to make a big impact on your video so don't feel sad if you don't have it it's okay you'll be okay so i'm going to toggle the switches make this a 3d layer and then i'm just going to check if it follows in 3d space and it does great awesome but maybe i'll make sure that it doesn't get behind the camera otherwise it's going to have like a little of a flash and there we go okay and i'm going to scale it up so it's also filling the screen at all times so that way we create some depth of this kind of fog coming closer to the camera i'm going to press f4 on the keyboard or toggle the switches and set this to a lighten and now if we're going to toggle this on and off, you barely notice it. Uh, so we're going to add an effect, color correction, curves, we're gonna bring this up quite a bit. Maybe set it to additive. Okay, there we can see it, maybe screen. And that way we get a little bit more of detail in our scene and that's looking pretty solid. Okay, cool. So lastly, what we want to add is our snow particles. Let's do that. I'm going to be using a plugin, um, Trapcode Particular. It's just a really good plugin when it comes to working with 3D environments. But what you can also do is follow my other tutorial where I talk about how to make snow particles without uh, a plugin. So if you're up to that, uh, just this is a much easier workflow. So that's why I'm going to be using a new solid layer, Particular. And there we go. Effects. And then we're going to add trap code. I'm just gonna look it up. I have too many effects and I don't, I, I can't look at it anymore. Effects and presets. Particular, there we go. And I'm going to apply that to my solid layer here. That's going to add a little bit of particles. I'm just gonna solo this for now, uh, but you can see immediately these are already spawning in 3D space. So that's really, really cool. That's what we want. I'm also going to shift over this solid layer just so they are already spawned completely and then we have them at all times like this then the first thing that i'll do is go into the emitter and i'm going to set the emitter type to box i'm going to uncheck the xyz linked i'm going to make it xyz individual and i'm going to set the size in z to something like 20,000. it's pretty big but that way we're really going to get them in 3d space and not lose them out of our yeah kind of view here Next, our Y is gonna be like 5,000, or actually Y I'm gonna keep it at maybe 100, and the X um, 5,000, there we go. 
Next, I'm going to move them up a little bit so they're coming from the top. Like snow actually does. It's coming from the sky, if you didn't know already. Cool. And now we want to add a bunch more, so maybe like 5,000. We have a nice snowy top here. Maybe 7,000 in the width. So we have a little bit more coverage on the edges here. And now we want to go into the physics tab here and also maybe the fur uh, particle tab. So let's have a look at the particle tab here. For life, I think three seconds is okay, but we do want to go into the opacity over life and select a preset with this ramp here, if you can see it perfectly, like right here. So they kind of fade in and fade out, so you don't really see an abrupt stop. And then for uh, the physics, we will jump into the air and the gravity, actually, we want to set this to something like 350 or maybe 500, why not? You can also add a little bit of air if you want to the left or to the right, maybe you can do that. It's always cool to have some air in here. Maybe you want them to fly towards the camera, then you have to go negative in Z. Um, and then you can also open up the turbulence field and set the octave, uh, no, the revolution speed to zero, the scale to something like two, and maybe effect position to 300. Of course, Snow does have motion blur if you're recording with a real camera, so we have to add fake motion blur on top of that to finish it off. So we're going into the rendering, motion blur, and set the motion blur to on. And there we go. Nothing is happening. There we go. And this is a little bit too much, so we're going to set it to like 180 in the angle. And that's looking a lot better. And we also want to boost the opacity to something like 4. So we boosting opacity just boosts the motion blur a little bit so you can actually see it on the final image. And of course it's white, so you're not really going to notice it right here. But if we're going to play this in an animation, it's going to look epic. Look, it's snowy. Uh, another thing you could also add on top of that, which I didn't do in the example, um, but you could just go into the camera here and actually solo the particles for now. You can see them all the way up in the, in the distance, which doesn't make it look very realistic. So you can press A twice on the keyboard, set the depth of field to on, and change the aperture to something like 100, and change the distance to like 1500. And that way they're gonna get like blurred out in the background, and that way it's going to look a little bit more realistic. You don't have to follow this step, but I just wanted to show you. It does make the render a lot slower, but this is the final result. This is how you create a snow scene, not on Christmas, but maybe until New Year. It looks good. You gotta say it looks at least a little bit decent. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more. Definitely check out CreatorGalaxy.com and I'll hope to catch you in the next one. Take care and goodbye. Boom, 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 boom.